Hello, Hello hi everyone! I'm Gabby and I'm Georgie and we are the mummies of Sisterhood Furniture and content creators for Dixiebel Paint. In this tutorial we will be working on this cutie that wasn't that cute actually uh, because it had loads of um, gloss paint, lots of layers, so yeah. Anyway, uh, let's get into it and show you how we transform it. The first step is applying a thick layer of varnish stripper as this box was covered in loads of gloss paint. Because we put such a thick layer, in about 30 minutes the paint just uh, went off so easy and we used a putty knife to remove it. Gross and satisfying at the same time, but mostly gross. At the end we cleaned it with mineral spirit, but we didn't film this part. And the veneer just flew off, so we remove it with a putty knife and then we fill the imperfections underneath with um, mud and sand with a 320 grit. We cleaned again the box with white lightning, which is Dixiebel Furniture Cleaner. Once uh, we finished cleaning, we rinse the um, box twice, only with water, just to remove any leftover dirt or solution. Painting time! For the base coat, I will start with some gemstone mousse in amber, which was a bit right because we haven't used it in long, but I just added some water and reactivated it. Then I took a round mini brush and I applied it on the whole box. So I applied this Cooper gemstone mousse as a base because our next step is doing dry brushing all over the piece. So this Cooper underneath will pick through so so nice. You'll see what I'm talking about in a moment. It's gonna be lovely. Lovely! While this was drying, I prepared a custom color made of conch and wharf from sealed mineral paint and I added about 5 spoons of pink and 2 spoons of um, grey and I mixed them well and it will turn out into like um, grey with purple hues, it's so pretty. I actually started to dry brush with the conch. I picked up some paint, wiped it on the lid and then I just went over the corners but with a quiet light hand. Then I switched to heavy dry brushing on the drawer size mostly and a soft dry brushing on the middle or where I want the cooper underneath to pick through more. Also, on the corners, I applied more, like way more paint because I wanted the color to be more intense. So on the corners, we go heavy. Oh, and I forgot to mention that the left bottom corner, I want to leave it Cooper. I think it'll look really cool. Um, so I won't cover it so much with paint. Now I will do the same combining dry brushing and heavy dry brushing but with our custom color and try to blend it slightly with the pink. I applied some more Cooper now because I covered it way too much.
I also did some dry brushing with um, Cooper on every edge, corner, handles. It looks so nice. Bit of Cooper here, and then we painted the drawer inside with midnight green, which is absolutely stunning. Stunning. On the drawer sides, we applied the Morocco stencil and with the brush, we just dabbed the um, custom paint. Then we sanded it with the 600 grit to make it super smooth. We applied some Cooper mousse over and it's time to seal the whole box. We applied three layers of satin clear coat. We let it dry for two hours in between and that's not it. I'll apply Cooper gilding wax under the handles and over the places I um, applied the gemstone mousse as it's more pigmented and sparkly. And this is the final result. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, learned something new or you just inspired in any way. And if you did so, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more furniture tutorials. See you next time. Bye!